Saturday. Today's Saturday that I'm filming this. <laughs> that was stupid. I haven't vlogged for a little while. Oh my god. All right, so I got my new phone. If you saw my last vlog, I talked about it. And it shipped earlier, so I literally just got it yesterday, Friday, January 15th to be exact. And I am in love with it. I hope that you can tell if there's any kind of difference in the quality of the the video. It's beautiful and I'm really happy with it. And I also got an Apple Watch. I got my lashes on. I took my tips off. Um, I just got a manicure yesterday. So it's been it's been a long work week. I will say that. So I did have a lot of self-care. I got my little stimulus check or whatever. And then I got paid at the same time. So you know. You know. We we splurged a little bit. But it's all worth it. I have so much good news for y'all. It's been a little rough, but it's been okay. You know what I mean? Like I have a lot in store and for today, me and babe are gonna get up to doing something that he didn't tell me about yet. So we're gonna figure that out. I gotta wake him up and I just wanted to start this vlog real quick and I'm gonna show y'all the phone. All right, uh, I can tell like the difference in the quality so I mean, uh, like that looks lit and because y'all know this is my camera for how I record YouTube videos so you know having a really good quality camera is important to me and the the audio and the visual is very important for y'all and for me too um, because I'm not going to be producing or creating content that is just kind of half-ass so I'm really happy about it uh, we lit okay so I'm going to go wake up babe now and then we gonna figure out what the date brings, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, update. Babes don't wanna wake up. So I'm in the kitchen and Ma is making breakfast. I don't know if you can see that. So we have in some breakfast sausages. These are my favorite, the, the banquet brown and serve Vermont maple because that's the only one that we like over here, period. But yeah, she's making that. Um, and we gonna have some pancakes. And Jemima, period. Um, <laughs> and yeah, trying to figure out what we're gonna be doing today. Two hours later. Hi guys. So it's been a little while. Um, it's like currently four o'clock. And I'm so sleepy today. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm so drowsy. Up, I got dressed and everything. I've been up since like 8 a.m. this morning for no apparent reason. And then I got tired around like maybe 2, 1 or 2 o'clock. I, I got sleepy. And after that, um, me and babe were just trying to decipher what we we're going to get up to today. But realistically, there's not much we can do. You know, I wanted to go and get a piercing today. Um, I really want to get my septum pierced. I want to get a lot of piercings. I want to get my septum. I want to get my nipples pierced. And I also want to get my tragus, which is right here. Um, I think on both ears I want to get it. And I have been for a while, but like, I'm not scared or anything. Like, I'm used to getting piercings, but, like, I'm always contemplating, like, oh, like, maybe I should wait because I don't want to spend that much money on whatever, like, right then and there. Um, I'm very spontaneous and impulsive with some of my decisions, but I'm also very, I think, a lot about, like, the outcome and the consequences of my actions and, and things. So I'm like, okay, maybe I won't do it today. And also, I'm just very lazy, so... I wanted today to be more exciting for you guys. You have to return my old phone. So me and babe have to drop that off at like a postal service. And then we're going to get some. <laughs> babe. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to get up. All right, I'll send it to you. Okay. Also going to go to Sweet Science. Um, which is a restaurant not too far from here, but we can't dine in, so we're gonna get the food to go. So yeah, we shall see. Two hours later. All right, so I'm like the worst vlogger ever, but we knew this already. I'm back in the same spot. <laughs> 
that y'all saw me last in. I literally just finished re-watching that video just to remember what I talked about. So, update. I dropped off my package for my phone. So that was like real quick and easy. We did that like a little bit after like I filmed, but but I didn't record it because it was cold outside and because like it was just real quick. It was just like, you know, bada bing, bada boom, like drop it off and like you good to go. So we did that. So one thing off the to-do list for today, right? We went to Sweet Science and it was closed. Not interesting at all. And then literally we came back upstairs. Shortly after that, my mother-in-law came home. Our niece came over and chilled with us. And like we were watching My Strange Addiction, which is like a really crazy show on Hulu. Um, and there was this one lady who was like addicted to eating vapor rub. And then the other girl, because they always show two different stories in each episode, the second um, woman was addicted to eating tires. And if she couldn't get tires, it'd be rubber bands. So the show is crazy. If you haven't watched it, I would entirely recommend it. But if you're easily like skeeved out by certain things or if um, any kind of addictions trigger you, then definitely use discretion. But I think it's very interesting and it's just crazy to see what people do and deal with. You know what I mean? I'm like, but like, yeah, that's literally all we did today, guys. Um, I'm so sorry that it wasn't that as interesting. I was supposed to have all of this footage filmed and edited so that it can go up on my normally scheduled day, which is Sunday. But that's not going to happen because ain't shit happened today. So hopefully tomorrow we get up to something a little bit more interesting. And Monday I have off from work because it's Martin Luther King Day. God rest his soul yeah so i guess I, I can talk about that so okay before i like <laughs> i keep rambling the thing i'll say is that what i wanted to update y'all on aside from like the new gadgets that i just got aside from that i wanted to tell you that i applied for this other job that pays a lot better than the job that i'm currently at and aside from that it's in the social work field which i'm really excited about and I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to set my expectations too high just in case if God forbid I didn't get the job or what, what may have you. Long story short, I got it. I got the job. And I start February 16th. So it's really freaking exciting. I will be wor working remotely until March. So that's even more exciting because then I'll get to show you guys what a typical day in the life would be for my position, which is going to be a clinical case um, manager. Of course, for the few first couple of weeks, I'm going to be training and, and such, and I'm not going to be able to show you guys everything. But for any of you that are curious and just want to see like my daily routines of like working and everything like that, then I'll definitely give you what you'll want. Um, and it would be really cool to document, to just look back on like my first few days from it, whatever. I'm excited, and that's something that, to look forward to in future videos. So, I don't want to ramble anymore, but, yeah, I'll catch y'all tomorrow, probably. Hi, guys. Alright, so, I told y'all in, like, previous clips that I got an Apple Watch, and, like, it has a feature where, like, I can, like, do, like, the camera shutter, like, from my watch. And, bro, I can literally see myself on my, on my watch. Like, What? I'm wearing the same thing that I was wearing yesterday, so don't talk about it. Second of all, I got y'all out because I wanted to record something and I don't think I'm in the frame. Me and baby are gonna go to Target. My glasses are really dirty. I'm like all over the place. We're gonna go to Target because we were going to go to Staten today to say bye to like the apartment and everything, but that's kind of like too sad. I'm just gonna like, wash my hands with everything like not to sound like fucked up or anything it's just it's it's like a really sad environment to like be around it like with like ma and everything and all the memories and stuff so i'm gonna kind of just like leave that like how it is and just like remember her the way that i currently am you know so we weren't doing that anymore 
and then for a long time we were kind of contemplating what we were going to be going to do today so we just decided that we're going to go to target and um i'm gonna vlog that i want to get some skincare products and stuff because like i want like a self-care kind of day i want to find something for my scalp because my hair has been really itchy lately and it's dirty and i want to cleanse it because i don't it hasn't been a month yet since i got them put back in so i don't want to have to take them out i want to have them last as long as possible because i don't want them to do my hair now that i have y'all up on the tripod with the ring light i want you to tell me if you can sense a difference in the quality because i'm i'm gonna be able to tell whether or not i see a difference um when i start editing but i want y'all to tell me too i'm also out Babe, don't start. You no, it's stop. like a little piece right there. I'm just trying to fix it. Don't mess with me. You see how he yelled at me? You be doing the same stuff. <laughs> I did do. I gotta do my edges. I wanted to... I'm still going to. I just have to figure out how I'm gonna do it. Do like a chit-chat, get ready with me. A but... chit-chat? Yeah, it's like when you talk like while you're like getting ready. Like so like what I'm doing right now. Oh, okay. I mean I know what a chit chat is, but I never heard that term being <laughs> used for a video. Up gang. Look. We in this. Oh wow. Yeah, that's hard. We're still looking at it. You can't you can't tell. Uh, we're still looking at it through my watch. I'm trying to make sure that we're in frame. What was I saying? Yo, that happens a lot to me. Like the more that you watch me, you're gonna know, unless I like edit it out. But <laughs> it happens to me like all the time that I get distracted. I don't know what the hell I was saying. I wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me. But I be naked, like while I get ready until like last minute. So, like, I'm not gonna show y'all that. <laughs> I'll show y'all what I'm using for my edges. I've been using Edge Booster. This is the Sweet Peach scent, and it smells really good. I gotta get more. It's good for like when my hair is like this where I don't want to put like something too heavy on it like gel or something So I've been using this. I just recently got this too, which I'm really excited about and I love it so far This is the Gizu, um honey infused hair perfume. I'll leave a link down below. I Freaking love this thing. It is kind of pricey though. This is the mini and this was $44 so it better last me a long time but honestly i feel like it's worth it because especially since my hair is in this protective style and like i told you i haven't been able to like wash it and stuff i'm just afraid of like stinking and like smelling bad so this helps a lot with like i like i'm gonna show you what i do but i just put it like in between like my braids and stuff and every time i go like this if my hair is out especially then like every time like i move it back and forth you'll be able to smell this and I, I won't stink but i have been using this i just bought this at ulta it's the batiste no rinse shampoo waterless cleansing foam and this is the almond oil one great for normal or dry hair use this twice so far since i bought it and it works and stuff but my hair still feels like that gritty feeling and everything like that i don't like it so i'm not gonna use it too much but i need to tell y'all I'm gonna make a whole video on like my hygiene routine. Let me know if you're interested in watching that. I think I'm gonna still film it anyway because I have a product that I really wanna talk to y'all about and it has to do with my menstrual cycle. So stay tuned for that. I don't do much with my edges. They're kind of long, but like I kind of swoop them a little bit. So I just take a little bit of the edge booster on my brush and just brush them. So I do three on each side. I don't do nothing crazy because I'm not that talented, <laughs> you know? But I do like to have them laid down because I got a big forehead. So when I brush them like a little long like that, it kind of like it helps with my big forehead, at least in my opinion. Let me know if I'm bugging or not, or if y'all can relate. <laughs> So like I swoop it in the middle like that and it just helps a little so it's not just my forehead and shit. I love it. Like that's what I do in the mornings when I'm going to work. I just do my edges now that I got these eyelash extensions. 
you can see some of them fell off already but i haven't i've been trying not to wet them and use the spoolie like every day to like brush them out but since i got these extensions and my hair is done i get up brush my teeth wash my face i get dressed and then i take my bonnet off do my edges i put my my skincare on and stuff i got a booger <laughs> and that's it i don't wear makeup and everything because of my acne and everything i don't like to cover it up because i don't want my pores to to be like filled with like product and everything um that's one reason second reason is i don't know how to do makeup <laughs> i'm gonna be completely 100 percent real and i want to learn over time but just not yet i want to get my my face like better with my acne yeah. and my hyperpigmentation and stuff i gotta see a dermatologist but yeah i'm gonna look at the food thing real quick okay mm. Mm. Um. So now I'm gonna take like some of the hair perfume and just like I kind of like to part my hair down the middle and I spray it a little far. It smells like really fresh baby powder. So yeah guys, I'm going to oh wait a minute. I had an idea that I wanted to run past y'all. So <laughs> I like to read a lot so i had an idea of a segment that i would like to start doing on my channel which is like a read with me kind of thing i want to read more books so hopefully this will hold me accountable with reading more and like buying more like novels and everything like that eventually I'll, i want to get the kindle so that i don't have to keep like buying like the physical books because i want to cut down as much as possible in terms of like um, physical clutter physical mental and everything but want to cut down on the amount of items that i hold onto so i don't want to accumulate a whole bunch of physical books over time although i do prefer physical reading like reading an actual book versus using any kind of technology i do love the concept of audiobooks although i haven't read any yet but i just like the the physicality of like having a book in your hand moving the pages back and forth and everything and not being on any kind of technological um device because i feel like i'm able to just concentrate more and just be in that world but the book that i'm currently reading i took the cover off but it's midnight sun by stephanie meyer i love twilight I love the books. I didn't read all of them. I think I stopped at like Breaking Dawn. They were amazing. So Babe just got me this one. And if you don't know about Midnight Sun, this was the newest version of the Twilight Saga that came out. And it's basically the same story about Edward and Bella. However, this is from Edward's perspective. And I'm already on chapter five, but if you guys are interested, in this segment on my channel then i can definitely start and i can start from chapter one so i'll read each segment will consist of like i'll maybe i'll do it like once a month or once every two weeks where i'll just make a video of me reading the chapter and then we can talk about what we felt about the chapter in the comments i think it's really really dope i haven't seen so far from the youtubers that i love watching and there's many of them. I haven't seen them actually do this. So I think it would be really, really dope. Let me know if you're interested in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram is blissfully.she if you don't know. And yeah, I think that would be really cool and I'm excited to do that, so yeah. Basically already done, hold on, let me show you my fit. I took my glasses off by the way because of the glare from the ring light. So this is my fit, I don't know if you can see it all that well. So this sweater I just got from my aunt, my Didi Pepsi, for my birthday. It's really, really pretty. I don't know where she got it from, but you can tell, like, the detailing on the buttons. It's not real buttons, by the way, but nonetheless, the detailing on the buttons is, like, a tortoise kind of shell um, design, which I really think is pretty. I got these jeans on. Um, 
from i think these are from forever and then i'm going to put on my favorite shoes right now ever my crocs if you're not crocking you're not rocking period i'm gonna just say that and these are the line ones because it's cold out and we love like warm feet warm toes you know not stinky toes but like warm feet and toes <laughs> yeah man that's pretty much it all right Just mildly. More like them later. Black elderberry body wash. That smells. That sounds like it smells good. Uh. The. Smell it. Uh. Did you smell it? You didn't really smell it. I smelled it. I came back to you. Oh really? Hey. <laughs> right, okay, guys. This is the cart. <laughs> Went a little crazy. Yeah, so far. It looks so good. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, stop. So we're finally on the line. We got a lot of stuff. How much do you think we spent? Or we're gonna spend? Uh, it's like 90. 90 dollars? No, 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 no. Cause you're fucking... Well, we're having two separate transactions. So like, cause we bought some stuff for his mom. Um, so we have stuff for his mom, what he's gonna buy and what I'm gonna buy. No, 30. Update y'all when I figure it out. All right, guys. So, Update, you wanna tell them how much we spent, like individually? $80. I was close. You spent 80? Yeah. So my total came out because I had all the food and stuff and like whatever like I was gonna get. So my thing came out to 125. Food stamps was 48. So I paid 76. So yeah. That's how much we spent. And got the bags. <laughs> Alright, so I want to show y'all some of the things that we got at Target. So skincare wise, I got this. This is the Dr. Teal's Black Elderberry and Vitamin D um, body wash. And it smells amazing, yo. Like, I can't even... Like, I mainly got it because... Well, Dr. Teal's is really good, but I mainly got it because of the scent. Hair care. I got this. 
from Carol's daughter. First of all, I love Carol's daughter. Second of all, um, this is the wash day delight. I've never tried it before. I've seen it before. Um, but it's the love at first wash water to foam shampoo with aloe. It's no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, and no artificial colors. So we love that. I was telling y'all earlier that my scalp is dirty. It needs to be washed like badly. Um, so I bought this. I'm gonna be showing y'all like me experimenting with else, this. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, um, ha! babe, <laughs> are you gonna do that right by my ear? I didn't mean to do that by ear. I'm sorry. Don't get knocked out. Who's gonna knock me out? Me. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> So I have to like wet my hair and like aim this like on my scalp with the nozzle and of course like massaging it like you um, regularly would with any kind of shampoo and then rinse it out. So I'm gonna like record myself using this from my yellow organics. It's from the rice water collection and it's the split end therapy and this smells really really good too. Like so and it says I'm gonna just read it to y'all. So it says, lightweight product is designed to strengthen against split ends. Ingredients such as rice water and wizu, yuzu, both assist with nourishing hair and works to prevent future damage, light enough to be used daily. So I'm excited about this. And you can use it from root to tip. You don't only have to use it on your ends. So. Once I wash my hair, then I'm definitely gonna be using this. And then my scalp and everything will smell really good, not just from like any kind of perfume, but from actual, like actually washing it. All right, so next, we got this candle, the Peace and Tranquility Cashmere Jasmine from che Chesapeake Bay Mind and Body. It smells so good, y'all. Like, oh my God. I can't even describe the scent. It's like, Mm, it's just really soothing it's like jasmine like vanilla i got this lip scrub from saint ives it's watermelon if you know me watermelon is like my favorite scent my favorite flavor for like everything either watermelon or strawberry my absolute favorite so anything like that i'm all for it big thing i bought this blow dryer I've been wanting a blow dryer for a really long time. I don't know if this is good or not. To be honest with you, it looked good. The price was like decent. It was like $25 to like $30, I think. I gotta check the receipt. But that was okay to me. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just get it. Plus, it has a diffuser attachment, which I'm really excited about because um, because I have my curls and everything, I've always just air dried my hair. I've never been able to diffuse it. Um, and I know that that'll cut my my time down for my hair drying when I do like wear it out again. So I'm really excited about it. It has three heat um, heat options, two speed settings, and a cool shot. Another reason why I bought it was because of the fact that since I'm gonna be washing my scalp and everything, I don't wanna just sit and air dry it, especially if the rest of the braids get wet. It's gonna take forever to dry and I don't wanna go to bed with wet, wet braids. So once I, do that process then I'm gonna make sure that I use a blow dryer and won't have to worry about that and then last thing look at this cute water bottle like I don't know if y'all can relate but I am like a water bottle or like a bottle junkie meaning like tumblers thermos any kind of like water bottle like I really won't need it but I'll buy like a whole bunch for no reason because of how pretty they are they they change my mood and they make me want to drink water i don't drink water as much as i should or at all so i already put water in here as soon as we got home because i was not playing i was like this water bottle is mad cute for me to not drink water in it so there's water in here so yeah it's just a glass bottle with this like nice like um really pretty yellow silicone sleeve and then this right here on the top is bamboo so it's from the brand Opal House and like I said all these things that I got in, um, in Target I'm gonna drink some water right now so like y'all can hold me accountable I'm really excited I'm very excited about all of that stuff 
more excited because my shower is gonna be lit because I'm gonna wash my hair I'm not gonna shave though because that's too much work but I'm gonna wash my hair I'm gonna use my my new body wash so my body gonna be smelling good and everything that the room gonna smell good because of the candle oh. all right so now we're gonna go to the kitchen so I can show y'all I'm like walking out of the frame and shit all right so this is one thing that we got this is a toffee coffee nut i also got this and i got this which is like really really good if you haven't tried it try it i just put you on hello then we got this too it's really good this one is like the best juice like ever the watermelon breeze we didn't get that at target but they do have it there so like yeah and then up here we got two of these no we got two of these if you haven't had this you're missing out it's like the best thing ever right. <laughs> so and this i'm really excited to try this is the first time i'm seeing it the outshine bars are naturally like really good but i've never seen this kind and remember i was telling y'all about like my obsession with like anything sugar or watermelon so this i'm very excited about and like i said watermelon so yeah if you haven't tried any of these things you need to all right guys We've come to the end of this video. I've I've recorded a sufficient amount of stuff. Um, and I don't want this video to be longer than it already probably is. I do have to like start editing and everything like excuse me, like that, so that y'all can see the video as soon as possible. But so I'm gonna end it here and then the next video, my next upload, so make sure that you're subscribed, put your bell notifications on because my next upload will be when I wash my scalp for my braids and everything like that. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below letting me know that you stayed to the end of this video. And let me know what else you guys want to see from me because I want to be making more content for y'all. Alright, I'll catch y'all later.